Hello. Hey. And welcome into the studios here at FM News Talk 97.1. Tony Colombo here. Chris Arps there. No Katie. We, I know. No Katie. I know. There's something missing from this video, and uh, it's Katie Bailey. Yes, because me she, and you aren't the pretty faces. No, we're not the trio. pretty faces. This is not why people watch videos <laughs> to see us two. Um, but uh, the Weekend Report is coming your way again, of course, Saturday at 4 o'clock, every Saturday at 4 o'clock here on FM News Talk 97.1. Katie Bailey is actually uh, just in the other room plugging mm -hmm. away, very, very busy, Working getting on. the uh, show ready for you guys. So um, uh, this Saturday at 4, we have uh, another great show. Lots to talk about. Lots of uh, uh, stories happening in the news. We need to talk about uh, President Trump banning bump stocks. Yes. Uh, we need to talk about uh, you know the, the gun control mental health debate continues to rage on. Um, we are going to have a very cool ticket giveaway for yeah. you. Yes, my friend uh, Jason Nelson, uh, of course, uh, is performing the REM tribute show on March 9th, Friday, March March 9th at Del Mar Hall. And not Del Mar I know Gardens. I almost said it again I, earlier off the uh, earlier when we were not taping. I said Del Mar Gardens. <laughs> Instead of Delmar Hall. Jeez. Yeah. Um, Delmar Hall on Delmar March Hall. 9th, REM Tribute Show. Jason Nelson, uh, you probably have heard him on this show before or on this radio station before. Um, he's the leader of the Queen Tribute Show and has been in a bunch of different bands over the years. Very big in the St. Louis uh, local uh, music scene. And this REM Tribute Show is going to be amazing. And he has your chance to go for free on the Weekend Report this week, so be listening for that. Also, um, a very, I, I am really looking forward to talking to our special guest this week. Yeah. Uh, normally, our guests are, uh, you know, politicians, newsmakers, pundits, that sort mm -hmm. of thing. But um, this week is going to be a very different conversation and one that, uh, like I said, I'm very much looking forward to having with uh, our guest Sherry Elder. Yes. You give the, the, the quick uh, story about Sherry and uh, what we're going to talk to her about. You know, a lot of our listeners may have read about Sherry's story in the Post-Dispatch. Uh, her antique store on Cherokee was vandalized after she put up a flag uh, supporting the police. Uh, so we're going to talk to her uh, about that and uh, the ramifications of, mm -hmm. of what's happened since then uh, with that uh, vandalism. Yep, yep. Uh, hung the flag, the thin blue line, police supporting flag, and was vandalized and threatened. And uh, she's a strong person, and she's not backing down. So I am, I am very much looking forward to talking to Sherry Elder. So definitely be listening for that. Don't forget, you can always go. You're probably right there now on 971talk.com slash weekend report. If you missed the show or you want to hear it again, our podcasts are free. You can listen to them on the website or download them and take them with you. And, of course, uh, we always like to put videos here on, this, uh, on, our, on our video channel as well. So check back often. Tony Colombo, Chris Arps, the missing Katie Bailey. Yes, she'll be back next week. Well, she'll be on the show, so you'll get to hear her on Saturday. Uh, and we will see you uh, here on the video player soon, and we will talk to you on the air Saturday at 4. Thanks, guys. Peace.